and we are at Kolia to Medfaia. This was the stronghold of the regime here in Aleppo. It cost us a lot, it cost us another car to get here. These are the fighters that helped to take this area away from the regime. Get in, come on, come on! Put this on. Talk to me, talk to me! Left, 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 left. Are you sure? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Bilal Abdul Karim for On the Ground News. And the city of Aleppo has been besieged once again. As you see, this is most likely the cheapest anti aircraft system in the world. And this is done by the civilians inside the besieged city of Aleppo. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Mohammed Al Ghazi reporting for On the Ground News. Today we're here at one of the battlefronts, and I have uh, Abu Ubaidah with me, who is uh, a military commander in the area. It appears that the result of this airstrike are 20 dead from this airstrike. Now, it's not clear exactly what the actual target was. However, it must be borne in mind that this is a daily occurrence in the city of Aleppo. We are here in one of the hospitals in the besieged city of Aleppo, which got hit in the morning with seven different airstrikes. Airstrike landed right here, and a second one landed just approximately one minute after that. This is where the airstrike just landed a few min minutes ago and this is the, the, the piece of the bomb still here and uh, so you have an idea how destructive these airstrikes are which are landing in civilian areas in eastern uh, Aleppo. This is the worst place to be over there because he's trying to drop on the sofa. But he, I saw the, the helicopter's going back this way. He's going to pop up ahead. Over there, over there. Where? He dropped, he dropped. There, there, there. Barrel. Come on, Muhammad. There were seven families that were in these, between these two buildings right here. In this building right here, there were three families. So they're trying to dig through the rubble to see if there are any survivors. But looking at the rubble and the extent of the damage here, I can't believe that any of them might have survived. These are the parachutes that the planes have been dropping all over the city with the bombs attached to it. You'll hear it detonate in just a few seconds. This is what the people of Aleppo have to deal with. 